Hey guys, Lucas Hill, 1360 Yield Center. I uh, wanted to take a minute today, uh, since it did rain, and, and just talk a little bit about something that no one really likes to talk about, and that's harvest loss. So, uh, you can see here behind me, we're standing in a field uh, that's starting to get green, and that's something that's been pretty common this year, uh, especially throughout Illinois and, and some of the I states, where we've had plenty of moisture, uh, temperatures have been warm. Um, so this crop, it's, it's not taking a lot to grow the second time, unfortunately. So uh, I want to just talk through a little bit about, you know, how we check for harvest loss, um, what we look for when we're, we're trying to evaluate what kind of job we're doing with not only the, the head on the combine, um, but also the machine itself. So you'll see some pictures I posted here. A um, couple different things we look for when we're looking at header loss and something that we can actually evaluate at this point in time uh, when that crop starts to grow one is is that kernel actually going to get run over so we know if we're looking out in the field um, after we see the combine make that pass we can generally tell if that kernel is getting run over by those front wheels or those back wheels that loss is going to be out the head because all that separator loss would have been behind those back wheels uh, so that's one thing we can look for to see the picture on the concrete uh, what type of kernel it is. So a lot of times when we're looking behind a combine, we can generally tell if it's off the butt of the ear or if it's somewhere in the middle of the ear. Obviously, we know we can lose butt kernels out the back of the combine through separator loss. But a lot of times what we found is we start seeing those curved kernels, those kernels that were on the butt of that ear. A lot of times that is actually gonna be header loss that we see because that, as that ear comes down against those deck plates, it's gonna create that shatter loss and that's going to fall through the deck plates and a product like 360 yield saver is definitely something that we can utilize to help minimize that header loss so mention the, the different types of kernels as well as being able to get run over by that combine those are probably the easiest ways to tell um, the other thing you can do is you can do a hard shut off in the field so as you're running along shut the combine off go over the road or look at your screens and see where that loss is coming from uh, it's not something everybody loves doing, shutting off a, a hot combine, uh, but it's something that can be done to evaluate your header loss. As we start looking at higher commodity prices, uh, we definitely know we want to save every kernel that we can. And when we start seeing these fields turn green, it kind of makes us sick to our stomach because we realize that we didn't get every possible kernel that we could have. So we, it rained here today. Uh, we're out evaluating a few different fields for some guys. and. Um, and just want to look at different things we can do to to make that combine do a little bit better job increase that performance and make sure we're doing the best job possible